What do you hope to achieve in this investment strategy and who would benefit most? So I think we have really three investment strategies in this, uh, um, in this multi-asset class uh, category. Let's, let's start with the balanced fund because that is the one that is probably the, the biggest and the most, most common given that it is Regulation 28 compliant. It uh, is available for people who are saving for their pension funds or provident, uh, or provident funds. In that fund, what we're aiming to do is beat inflation and beat inflation by 4%. Um, inflation, as everyone would know, is, the, is really the enemy of anyone that is, uh, that is retiring. Your costs go up by inflation or thereabouts every year, and what you're trying to do is beat that inflation so that you can live well in your, in your retirement. In our stable fund, which is the low equity, the low equity balance fund, we're aiming to beat inflation by 3%. Um, so it's a, it's a lower heartbeat, potentially slightly lower risk, which means, um, which means slightly lower return over time, but uh, probably be slightly better capital preservation over time. So inflation plus three in, um, in the low equity, inflation, inflation plus four in the high equity. And then in our flexible fund, we say that we're trying to beat inflation by 5%. We're also trying to beat the, uh, the returns of the all share index in that, uh, in that fund. It's a higher heartbeat fund. It's one that is probably aimed at people that are able to take on more risk than uh, those that are invested in the low equity or the balanced fund. Our flexible fund is able to invest across the spectrum of, uh, of, of different assets, is not bound by the regulation, uh, by regulation 28. It, it aims to achieve inflation plus 5% and also aims to beat the all share over, um, over time. So it would probably benefit people that are able to take on a little bit more risk and do not have to comply with Regulation 28.